you doing? So, sorry I missed yesterday. Um, I have been a little bit scattered just trying to get things ready in my house for my other half coming home and bringing a guest with him, which is going to be staying with us for a good while. Um, what I'm doing today is just shy of dry brushing on this purple. I don't want it overly bright. I just want little hints of purple as it catches the light. So it's not going to be a big, super bright change, just little hints here and there. I do apologize, you will hear a little bit of my neighbors doing some work in the background. Um, actually quite appreciate them doing it during the day instead of most of last year they did it during the night. So, it's one tricky part. You can't expect everybody to uh, stop what they're doing just so that you can make a video. So as you can see, it's a very subtle difference. I don't want it to be just super bright. Just want little hints of an extra color in there. And this is going to tie in as I start on this part. I'm planning on doing this in very bright jewel tones, probably with a little bit of my uh, color changing paint mixed in, just to give it that little bit of the metallic sheen that the color change paints does have. And I do actually have some metallics that I'll probably add in as well. Come up from the bottom a little bit there, we don't want to completely miss. kind of fun. I don't get an excuse to use this brush very often. So I realized after I uploaded it, my, uh, I do apologize, my video with Lulu wasn't super great focused, but getting that bird to do anything with a camera on her is almost impossible, so actually getting her to do her little beak is what I consider a win. And that's a game I play with her quite a bit, and I've played it with her since she was the only bird we have had. Um, if I don't make time for it every so often, she will actually scream beak at me until I finally come over and give her boops. So, kind of fun when you have toddlers with wings in your house. There's no telling what any day will bring. Ooh, that's a little darker than I wanted to go. Let's see if we can fade that out a little bit. But I have to admit, that is not half bad. Still getting used to the change in lighting in here since the daylight savings time thing. I should have probably waited about one more hour, but I did want to get some content up and I'm between tasks in the house, so this was a convenient time for me to come out and mess around a little bit. As much as I wish it could be my priority all the time, this is unfortunately not able. There are a lot of things I have to do that I have to kind of time this around. Now, I'm, it may be a couple of days before I get anything else out after today because I do work tomorrow and they are scheduled to be back in on Friday. So... 
and then I work Saturday and Sunday. So it may be next week before I have a chance to come in and start working on this top part. But that gives me some time to plot and plan. Which is never a terrible thing. I had actually planned to do this yesterday, but time got away from me. I ended up spending a good chunk of my day out outside playing with Loki. He's felt the cold weather just a bit. He's definitely not a fan of being cold. So I've got to, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get him in a jacket so that we can still play outside when it's a little chilly. Though with as much as he hates wearing his harness, I'm not sure how putting a jacket on him is going to go. Maybe we'll uh, film that process and let you guys see the fun of trying to convince an 80 pound dog that this is actually something that will make their life better. He's a good boy. He's just a little bit spoiled and used to getting his way. Which I am definitely guilty of spoiling all of my pets. I think they should be. I think all animals should be spoiled rotten if you're gonna take charge of them. Take care of them properly. Treat them like family. Um, I don't understand people who don't do that. Um, if you're familiar with me, with my Facebook, um, I actually have a post up right now about trying to help find a home for a dog that somebody just up and moved and left their dog and it's roaming the streets in the next town over. If Loki was just a little bit friendlier with other dogs, I would br just bring this dog home. Unfortunately, he has, best we can figure, his former owners allowed their other dogs to just beat up on him. And he has a lot of fear where other dogs are concerned, and it does make him very hard to socialize. So... It will definitely be quite some time before we're looking to have a second dog. Now, if you just noticed what just happened with me throwing my brush a little bit there, um, I do actually have nerve damage in my hands. Um, this hand, I actually messed up my shoulder um, 15 years ago. I tore the cartilage that holds my shoulder in socket and it took them about seven months to figure out because I don't feel pain like a normal on a normal level so I thought I just had a pulled muscle and due to the when they did the x-rays and everything my neck was pulled super tight so they kept trying to treat me for a neck injury and it wasn't until they finally did an MRI that they discovered the tears and by that time one tear had turned into two and I had to go in and have it surgically repair repaired and during that entire time my arm was sliding in and out of socket and it did some pretty permanent damage and now I drop things. A lot, actually. <laughs> and my goodness, that wind has kicked up out there. I don't know if you can hear it 
at all. I'll have to listen back and see, but it has decided to be very windy. Which, once I finish this, I do have a couple of other projects I'm going to try and finish in here that are just taking up room in my workspace. And then I'll have my boyfriend move my uh, project in here. I will be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I apparently had UPS knocking at the door. Um, a couple of new shirts for work. It's always hard to tell if it's actually going to be a problem that pulls me out or if it's just something simple. But when you have a house full that, like I do, you can't just assume it's no big deal. You've got to stop and go check and make sure everything's okay. Um, I was able to look back over a little bit of what this is starting to look like, because my point of view is very different from yours. Um, I'm just seeing the side and a little bit of where it is hitting the sun. Oh, that's a lot more than I meant. a bit. There we go. That's just going to be a very purple spot, that's all. So this is definitely starting to kind of look like I was seeing in my head. It is quite satisfying watching it take shape and lose the looks that it had before. I really thought I was going to end up going with an antique look on this, but I think this is so much more fun. And we'll go so much more with mine and my boyfriend's personal styles. And I think I can pick some very nice, uh, I think it is going to be soap flowers that end up going in it. Um, definitely tell me if you have any suggestions on what you think we should try putting in there. Um, always love a creative idea. Something that might pop against this would definitely be a welcome suggestion. Okay, so we're almost there. And then we'll just add a little bit up here and and then the next time I come in I'll be working on this part which will complete the look of the whole thing. I think it's just come such a long way already. It's really come to life in my eyes. And I definitely have to say again, these color changing paints are some of my favorite to work with. They're just so much fun. You never know quite what the finished project is going to look like. Though I did test a couple of different ways of mixing these two particular colors. So there's that part. 
touch this bottom with it just a little bit. top I don't really want it to be perfect missed a spot with the green. Just brush that over a little heavier with the purple and make it look intentional. Sometimes when you have a little oops, that's the easiest answer. Just make it look like it was meant to be that way. So let's see how pull this back here and I'm gonna back you guys up just a little bit so you can really see she's definitely taking on a whole new look so that's gonna be that for today and until next time I will talk to you guys later